Welcome back, everybody. Today's main weather is brought to you by Key Appliance. Key Appliance is committed to bringing you top name brand appliances at affordable prices. All right, taking a look at the weather out there. We finally got some clear skies out there today. We had a few clouds and maybe a few isolated scattered showers, but overall, it was a great day to be outside today. Unfortunately, we do have another system bringing some more scattered showers and maybe some isolated thunderstorms into our area tomorrow. But we'll talk about the temperatures going into tonight. It's going to be pretty mild. We see Bangor sitting around 59 degrees, and most of the area is going to be in that mid-50s region. It'll be a little warmer up north near Clayton Lake at 59. But going into tomorrow, we'll see 73 for the high in Bangor. And we have some cooler temperatures over here uh, towards the west. You can see in, we're in the low 60s for most of the area, and even down uh, south by Portland, 55. And that will be from the rain that will be coming in tomorrow morning. So that will be something to keep an eye out for. But looking at the temperature trend, for the rest of the week. We're going to be seeing a lot of 70s on the board and we'll be hanging around the low 70s for the rest of the week. So even though we do have some more rain on the way, at least we'll have some warmer temperatures with it. Now take a look at the muggy meter. It's going to be pretty muggy once we get into Thursday and Friday. You can see we're spiking up to the muggy region. It'll be a little sticky out there and it will be that way on Saturday as well. So that will be something to keep an eye out for. But for Monday through Thursday, we're going to be in the comfortable region. It may still be a little sticky out there for us, but it should be all right. Now, take a look at this big, massive low pressure system that's tracking across the, uh, the U.S. right now. We can see the warm front is by our area, bringing those scattered showers into our region. And it's also the cold front is pushing out some thunderstorms in the southeastern states. But we have to worry about that warm front tomorrow morning once it brings those scattered showers into the area. Now, take a look at the future forecast. We can see those storms are going to start moving in in the early morning hours around 7 to 8 a.m. And there will be some localized areas that will see some heavier amounts of rain fall with it as well. So taking a look at those rainfall amounts, we're going to be seeing uh, it's not going to be too much uh, under a quarter inch for most of the area. But those little blue dots are the areas that we'll see some more localized uh, heavier amounts. So that'll be something to keep an eye out on if you live in between Princeton and Holton or even somewhere almost out of the state to the to the west side. Well, there will be some more localized heavier amounts as well. But for tonight's forecast, the low will be 56 degrees, mostly cloudy, and there'll be some areas of dense fog in the morning, and winds will be coming from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That fog is going to hang around tomorrow morning once we have those showers come in with a high of 70 degrees, and the winds will be coming from the southeast this time at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, for your extended forecast, you're going to see that the rain chance is going to continue on throughout the rest of the week, but the temperatures will stay near the 70-degree mark, and the lows will be in the mid-50s. Beth?